Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back 4 app and today we're starting a new series of videos where we are going to explore the very basics of Parse using React Native. So for this new series we will create a CRUD uh, interface. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete and we are going to go through, through every single one of those functions with React Native and Parse. So here I have my back 4 app Parse application where I created an empty class called employee and we are going to start with the C of CRUD, creating an object. This will be a, a very simple object so you can learn how to store and persist data on the cloud. Here I have my Visual Studio and the first thing I have to do is use uh, states on React Native so I can persist that data. So I'm going to do that by adding const name and set name to use state. And we are going to record a property called name on my employee function, my employee class. So here I have a do object creation function that will be called when I click the button. And in here we will start by reading the name value and attributing it to a const called name value. And in here I will also create a try catch block where I'm going to put the saving code. So if it saves successfully, it will do an action, and if it have an error, it will do another one. So in here, the first thing I have to do to reference my employee class is create let employee equals new parse dot object and then pass as a string the name of the class that I'm going to use, in this case employee. So employee. This is case sensitive, so pay attention with how you how you write your class names. Usually in parts we use uh, capitalized first letter for class names. So to set a name property for my employee, we do employee dot set. We pass the the variable name or keep want to to store in this case name, and for variables we use lowercase, and then we are going to pass the name value that we read from the state. So my employee is now created and then we, the, now we can try to save it. We're going to do await because this is a synchronous call and then employee.save. If it works, we're going to do an alert.alert .alert success. But if it fails for some reason, I want to alert.alert .alert and then print error and then add the error dot message. This will handle uh, if I have any kind of trouble trying to save this object. So with all this done, I'm going to save and type yarn iOS. This will start recompiling my application. And it will automatically deploy to my simulator. Now I can type a name here, so for instance, Alex K, and click Create Object, and we got success. So if we go back to our Google Chrome here, my employee class won't show that for now, and even, even if I click uh, Refresh, it won't show it to me, because uh, I have to reload the whole website so it can read through the schemas again. So I'm going to reload this. And there you go, my employee with the name Alex K is written to the database. So this is the simplest way to write and persist code to the cloud. We, and it first covers the uh, C for CRUD, for creating objects. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to add properties to that same uh, record. So I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next ones. See you soon. Bye bye.